Welcome to the Dreyway. <laughs> I am so happy that you are here. Have you subscribed yet? You got to hit the subscribe button. I don't normally say that. I always forget to say that, don't I? I don't normally say it, but I, we got to get the numbers up. So hit the subscribe button. And besides, you don't want to miss an episode of the Dreyway because we are just one, two, three days away from the election. That's right. We are three days away, and I and I can't I, I can't I I can't hold my enthusiasm. I got to tell you, she might be turning another state blue. <gasps> what did I just say? I'll say it again. She might be turning another state blue. Yeah, it's not. I'm not talking about the swing states. Those are all blue. Those are all blue. We already know that. We we already know. Those seven states are going blue. You don't know the seven states? Are you are you kidding? Okay, let's go over. Number one, Nevada. Number two, Arizona. Number three, Georgia. Number four, Florida. Number five, North Carolina. Number six, Michigan. Number seven, Wisconsin. But is there a number eight? Is there a new number eight swing state? And I know what you're thinking. I, I, I'll bet you anything you're sitting there going, he's talking about Texas and Florida. I just know he's talking about Texas and Florida. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not talking about Texas. I'm not talking about Florida. And now you're sitting at the edge of your seat going, Drayton, just tell us what you're talking about. No, I'm going to stretch this out as long as possible. No, I'm not. But it's not Texas, it's not Florida, even though, you know, if we talk about Texas and Florida for just a moment, for just a moment, I, I based on what I've seen so far, I'm gonna say something totally crazy, totally nuts. Out of those two states, Texas and Florida, I actually believe Texas is closer to going blue than Florida. Yeah, I just said it. <clears throat> I didn't mean to say it in that high of a voice. <clears throat> Florida, Florida, Florida. <laughs> so I actually believe Texas, because Texas, Texas has Colin Allred. Texas has a chance to put a real live senator, I was about to say a real live boy, a real live senator in Texas, Colin Allred. Because Ted Cruz is a bye bye a bye bye now, a bye bye Yeah, Ted Cruz is history. Ted Cruz is, go is gone. So with so many people going, oh, I can't vote for Ted Cruz, if they get the ick on Ted Cruz, there is a very, very strong chance they get the ick on Donald Trump. Am I right? I mean, come on. They're both equally icky. I mean, if, 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 as a matter of fact, we should start calling them Ick 1 and Ick 2. I, you can make whichever one Ick 1 that you want, but yeah, it's Ick 1 and Ick 2. So I actually believe Texas has a higher probab probability of going blue than Florida. And you're probably saying, Drayton, why are you saying that? And I just told you why, because of Ted Cruz, but that is not the only reason. There's a second reason. We can't get the people in Florida to vote. We can't get, I don't know how we have to make it easier or something. I mean, what's an easier way to do it? Well, we're gonna have to think of something because so many people in Florida don't vote. And let, let me tell you, so many Democrats in Florida don't vote. Why? I don't know. I don't know what. But if they would show up this time, if they would show up and show out like women have all across the country, I'm more confident that women are going to show up in Texas than I am that women are going to show up in Florida. And for that reason and that reason alone, I'm saying I, I think Texas might go blue before Florida. And Texas has, instead of a 5% chance, about a 20% chance of going blue where Florida, yeah, I, I, I just, mm, I'm, I'm still calling it a coin toss, but guess what else I'm calling a coin toss now? I think Texas is a coin toss, but that's not the only two that I want to talk about. 
I want to talk about one that we are not talking about at all. And we need to talk about because this could be, she could actually turn this state blue. I think there's a solid chance. And do you know what the state is? I will wait. Do you know? What's your guess? What? What is Kansas? No, I did. No, not Kansas. Guess again. What? Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Yes, Iowa. Iowa. I know. I, crazy, right? And, and I know what you're saying. You're saying that's crazy. That's at, what do you mean, Iowa? Hear me out. Hear me out. Donald Trump, all he talks about is tariffs. If you're a farmer, if you love anyone who's a farmer, that should scare the death out of you. Donald Trump ever being president, if you're a farmer, if you're a farmer voting for Donald Trump, you might as well set your house on fire. It's the same thing. Do you have any idea how bad a president Trump was for farmers? I mean, he was so bad and so many farmers were going bankrupt that the government had to literally just start handing him checks. They say, I, 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 you need a billion dollars? Here, here's, here's a billion, here's a billion, here's a billion, here's a billion. Yeah, farm prices were a crap. I mean, it was, it was horrible. So if you're in Iowa and you have a chance to vote Harris or Trump, and you've already seen Trump absolutely devastate farmers, what are you gonna do? Yeah. So we, I, I, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm putting Iowa into the coin toss area. Yes, there are now three states in the coin toss area. That means they could go either way. There's a 50-50 shot. Florida, Texas, and now Iowa. I know, crazy, right? Welcome to the Dre Way. We are just three days out. Can you tell I'm getting excited? Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? Yes. We're three days away. Thanks for being here for the Dre Way. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? I, I mentioned it earlier and you still haven't subscribed? Really? Wow. Is it the sweater? Is it the sweater? We'll be right back. More to talk about. I like my sweater. Welcome back to the Dre Way. And of course, we got to talk about something disgusting right now. Yes, that's right. This is the, the, this is the part of the show where we talk about something disgusting. And guess who it has to do with? Uh, I'll let you take a guess. Yeah, you, you pretty much all know, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Donald Trump. Yeah. If he, you knew the minute I said disgusting, it had something to do with Donald Trump. But I guess if you saw him speak last night, yeah, Donald Trump uh, went down on his microphone last night. And I wish I was joking, but I'm not. And the, the, the thing is, is that here I've been, I've been for the last, for years now, for years, I've been sitting there going, why are so many guys voting for Donald Trump? Why are there so many single guys going to his rallies? I just didn't understand it. It didn't make sense. And then last night at the rally, Donald Trump starts to simulate going down on his microphone and the crowd erupts. All these single guys are like, oh, yay, go Donald, go, oh, yay. And I'm like, now I get it. Now I understand. Here I just... I couldn't understand why any guy would vote for that knucklehead. But now I get it. I, I wish you guys would have just put on rainbow shirts, you know, and I would have known what was going on. I didn't realize MAGA was another way of expressing rainbows. I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I thought MAGA stood for something else. Now I understand it stands for microphones. So MAGA microphones, MAGA microphones. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. Because all this time, I know many of you have been like, what is going on? Why are all these guys? But now that I saw how excited they got when Donald Trump went down on the microphone, it, it hit me. I was like, wow. You know, here I, here I thought they were just racist assholes, and that wasn't it at all. 
It's not that they're racist, misogynist assholes. It's that they like the thought of Donald Trump going down on their microphone. I know, I know. I, hey, it's not my thing, but clearly it's their thing. Clearly. Because if you want, and you don't have to, once again, once again, you don't have to believe a word I say. You can just Google it and check it out yourself. When Donald Trump starts starts with his microphone, watch how excited all the guys get. Oh my gosh, they get so excited. So MAGA, microphone, microphone MAGA, I get it now. But let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know, let me know in the comments. Stick around, we're just three days away from the election and, and next, I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen in three days. Stay right there. Three days away, three days away from the election. And you want to know, you, I mean, because so many of you are like, uh, Drayton, I'm getting nervous. Drayton, I, I'm worried. Drayton, I don't know. You have nothing. Shh. You have nothing to worry about. I voted yesterday. You know, I voted yesterday. And when I voted yesterday, let me tell you something. I had my ballot already filled out, so I got to go all the way to the front of the line. But when I went to the front of the line, that meant I had to walk by all the people. And there were hundreds of them that I walked right by. And guess what 90% of them were? Women. Two of them were eight months pregnant. Their bellies were sticking out. I mean, I thought they were like nine months pregnant. I'm like, you're eight months, you know, whew. But they were standing in line waiting to vote. Eight months pregnant. Yeah. Why Why they were standing, why somebody wouldn't push them to the front, I have no idea. But nine out of 10 people voting were women. And that's what you need to understand. Right now, here we are today, three days out. We're just three days out from the election. We are three days away from a Harris presidency. That's literally what we're, because if you check out the voting, if you check out the massive numbers of voters that have voted in Georgia, in North Carolina, in Pennsylvania, in Wisconsin, in Michigan, it is overwhelmingly women by huge margins. And are men gonna be able to keep pace? No, there are by far more women voting in this election than men. And guess who women are voting for? Yeah, women have had enough. Women are making it very clear in this election that, yeah, no more. We're not going to put Republicans in office and have them tell us what to do with our body. Because I didn't even really go into it today, but I think if you Google it, there was a young girl. I think she's either 18 or 19 years old. She died in Texas yesterday with her mother screaming for the hospital to help her because she needed an abortion. Yeah, and the hospital didn't respond quickly enough because technically they couldn't, and she died. Yeah, she's dead. So, and this story is going to continue, and stories just like it are going to continue to get all around. And what's going to happen, not just in this election, uh, uh, election I want you to understand, it's not going to just happen this time. It's going to happen in the midterms. It's going to happen in the next presidential election and the one after that, and the one after that. Because until women get their bodily autonomies back, until a woman has every right to do with her body as she pleases between her and her doctor, until Republicans remove themselves from that process, you will continue to lose election after election after election. Yeah. But anyway, that's the Dre way. Thanks for joining me. We're just three days out, and I'm here to tell you, three days out, in those states, women are showing up and showing out, and it means a Harris victory. You simply cannot get back those votes. So Harris is going to comfortably be over 270, and we are three days away from calling her Madam President. But let me know what you think. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for being with me on the Dreyway. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do I have to take the sweater off? What is it the sweater? It's the sweater. Is it is it the sweater? It's the sweater. No? Okay. If it's not the sweater, then subscribe. And don't forget, three days out today, but what about tomorrow? Tomorrow? 
We'll be two days out. Oh my gosh, we will be two days out from the election. Uh, and, and, and we have a lot to talk about, a lot to talk about. So make sure you check out the Dre Way every day. That's right, the Dre Way every day. A new show drops each and every day at noon. I'll see you later. Have a fantastic weekend. And don't forget to stop by tomorrow for the Dre Way. We'll see you tomorrow.